If you're a Mac user, you're eventually gonna encounter this. Windows users will probably encounter that too. It's got a little four on it. It's a Thunderbolt 4 cable. What's so special about this? It's just a USB cable, right? So this dock is Thunderbolt 4 capable, and to take full advantage of it, you need Thunderbolt 4 cables. But there is a small problem with Thunderbolt 4 cables, at least right now. I usually buy stuff on Amazon, but let's go see how much these are at my local store. Thunderbolt for 129. Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. 159 for three meters. I'm out of here. What the hell? I cannot believe the prices on these things. Unbelievable. It's just a cable. <laughs> Let's see how much these things cost on Amazon. Here's one from OWC. It's a one meter cable. 3.28 feet, so not very long, and it's 32 bucks compared to Apple's $129. What? How could they? I don't know. This 6.6 .6 foot cable is $60. Here's one from Anchor, 2.3 feet, even shorter, and this one is $45. I am noticing a couple of cheaper brands showing up, like this one right here. It supports all the things it's supposed to support, 100 watts, 8K display, 40 gigabit per second data transfer, and it's it's got pretty good ratings, but you never know with these things. Wait a second, now this $20 one is less than a foot long, so it's pretty short. Once we get to almost a meter, so shorter than the other ones, now we're up to 22 bucks. So it's not as cheap as one would think. So if you want a name brand Thunderbolt 4 cable, you're gonna be ready to fork out some serious dough. It's gonna make you think twice about buying Thunderbolt 4 peripherals. Some of those will be backwards compatible with slower speed cables. Now, I'm in the United States and there is another marketplace that I've actually never used before or taken advantage of. And I hear the prices are pretty good. No, I'm not talking about Amazon. I'm talking about AliExpress. There's AliExpress. It is a Chinese based uh, site. And if you have a look here, let's go with Thunderbolt 4. The prices are very different here. This is a two meter cable for $27. This is like two or three times cheaper than the premium brands and a heck of a lot cheaper. I'm not even doing the calculation because the lengths aren't the same. Uh, cheaper than Apple. Are these any good? Look at this one. This one is $6.99. For one meter, it's $7.99. <laughs> and for two meters, it's $8.99. Instead of paying $129 US for an Apple one, could you pay $7.99 and get the same quality cable? Or uh, not maybe the same quality, but maybe it'll do what you need it to do. And if it breaks, you just buy five more of them. Is that what we're dealing with here? Or is this complete garbage that you should just avoid? All right. I'm gonna buy one of these. I'm gonna register for AliExpress. I've only heard about this. I haven't used it. <laughs> Let's see if there's any difference. I found this one here. It has, <laughs> it has one one star review, but it's pretty cheap. And this one claims to support 8K at 60 Hertz. The other one that was really cheap only did 5K. So um, I think I'm gonna go with this one. It ships to United States for only $3.69. Let's go with the one meter variety. Oh, it's 1034. Now it's really expensive. All right, and uh, I'm just gonna check out. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Purchase, okay. All right, just a quick update here. They have been sending me emails, like daily emails. I've gotten like 10 of them so far, and they look kind of like this. And I did place this on September 20th, so it's been 10 days since then, and today I'm supposed to be getting this package. <laughs> Finally. By the way, their updates are super funny because like Amazon would show you recommended uh, items that you might be interested in. They do that too, but here's what they're showing me. There's my cable, blah, blah, blah. There's my order. You may also like this wig thing <laughs> or these, these red boots. They know me so well. Or these pink hair stripes. Sorry, I, I don't know what these things are for those of you that do know. Or whatever this is. This lady's taking a selfie of herself in the product shot. <laughs> see more items. Let's just see what, what they have here. Okay. When I go to the actual site, it kind of makes a little bit more sense, except for a few of these things. Like, w what's up with the hair stuff? These little mini ducks are really cute. Focus, Alex. Okay, I'm getting this thing in today. Let's see how it does. Mm -hmm. 
So I got a cable coming out of my MacBook Pro going into this Thunderbolt dock. It is a Thunderbolt 3 dock, but it has lots of things connected to it, including this monitor. It's a 27 inch 4K display. Let's uh, unplug that. And instead, I'm gonna try this new cable. Is this thing even gonna work? Okay, it looks like it's actually working. Now this plug is not snug. There's definitely a space there. Not the prettiest plug, but if it works, I can forgive that. I got this cute little Thunderbolt 4 dock too. It has one in and three out for Thunderbolt 4. I already said Thunderbolt 4. Why am I saying Thunderbolt 4 so many times? And it also has a USB 3.2 output as well. Let's try this out. Okay, it's really dark in here. Why am I doing this in the dark? Let's turn all this stuff on. I got all these lights. I might as well use them, right? This little thing right here is supposed to tell me the power draw of a device that's plugged into a Thunderbolt cable. So here is uh, the Thunderbolt cable, the expensive one that I had. I actually don't remember how much I paid for this one, but it was probably around the $30, $40 range. It's not quite one meter long. Let's plug this in here. And this goes into my MacBook Pro. So when plugged into the Thunderbolt dock, it's taking 19 volts, half an amp, and about 10 watts, just under 10 watts. Let's do it with a cheap cable. Notice this thing is not super flexible and it doesn't stay very well connected there. Connection wobbles, so it makes me not super confident about it. I guess if you don't move it around too much, it'll work. Folks, we're getting pretty much the same readings here. No difference there. The only weirdness about this cable is that it's it doesn't sit very tightly there in its spot and it jiggles quite a bit. There's, there's a lot of give. Here's an official Apple brick. This is the one that came with a MacBook Pro. It's 140 watts. Of course, we're probably not gonna get that kind of draw, but let's check it out. Yeah, it looks like we're getting about the same, probably because the computer is not drawing 100 watts. Right now the battery's at 100%, so it doesn't really need it, and therefore it's not drawing as much. However, we're comparing the uh, cable equivalents, right? So let's, uh, let's try the expensive cable now. Yeah, about the same. So for power draw, it looks like it doesn't matter. Uh, which cable you're using. Let's try the data transfer rates next. This right here is probably one of the fastest external SSDs I have. It's a Crucial X8. I've had this for a number of years. It's a 500 gigabyte version. Let's do a test here. First, I'll do the expensive cable and I'll connect this directly to my MacBook Pro. I'm using Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, which is a free app you can use. And I'll select that Crucial Drive and let's start the test. Okay, we're just under 800 for write and we're about 850 for read. By the way, this is nowhere close to what this cable and what Thunderbolt 4 is supposed to be capable of. But nonetheless, these are the speeds of some peripherals that you would commonly find, like this external SSD. There's faster SSDs out there. Of course, I happen to not have one. Let me know if you want to see a test like that and I'll go grab, I'll have to buy uh, <laughs> an extra SSD that's faster. Give this video a like if you want to see that. All right, let's try the cheap cable. Is it gonna show up? There it is. It shows up just fine. Target drive, Crucial X8, open and start. Well, uh, slow start, 200. Well, that's kind of weird. Okay, okay, now it's back up. I wonder what happened with that initial start. But uh, yeah, now it's working fine. 785 here on the right, 856 on the read, so about the same speeds. All right, so we did the video test, we did the data speed test, and we did the power test. The cheap cable passes. It's not as flexible as the expensive cable. I don't know how long it'll last. It doesn't stick as well to whatever you're plugging it into, but it does the job. So I don't know what's important to you, but if you can save 30, 40, 50, up to $120 on a one meter cable, then why not? Now for the Apple branded three meter cable, that's a whole different story. First of all, going that far is a bit sketchy for Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt 4 is supposed to support it, so it should work, but I have not tested the long cable 
from AliExpress. Who knows what might happen then? Also, it's a bit weird with the shipping timeframes. They initially said that my order placed on September 20th wasn't gonna arrive until October 22nd, a month later, but it got there in 10 days. So yeah, the speed is not Amazon Prime where I get it the next day or the same day or two days later. You have to wait a little bit. I waited for 10 days in my case, but uh, mileage may vary. If you need a cable that same day, go to your local store and buy it over there. This is a fun experiment, and now I have an extra cable that I can use just in case some other cable breaks. And I only spent, what, 11 bucks on it. Not bad. So if this video was useful to you, I appreciate a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you next time.